Russell Peters may have found the secret to a good Toronto cop show, often tried but rarely successful. Take two failures. The Murdoch Mysteries and Frankie Drake Mysteries are both set here, but in distant, supposedly exotic eras. The late 1800s age of scientific invention and the Jazz Age 1920s. Murdoch's Toronto hosts revolving celebrities like the Wright Brothers. Frankie Drake runs into Ernest Hemingway, who's working at the Toronto Star. In other words, Toronto's too dull unless it's propped up with gimmicks. In The Indian Detective, Peters plays an Indian on Toronto's force today, except he's not. He's Canadian. He takes that for granted and so does everyone. He's from Brampton. His dad suckers him into visiting him in Mumbai and the show caroms between the cities. The crooks in India call him the Canadian. You said he was with the Canadian. I have a man watching his place. Find him. He calls them Indians. He misses home for totally non-exotic reasons. Why do you even love Canada? Well, first of all, that's where I'm from. I was born there. So name one thing. We don't like to brag about things over there because we're so great. What Peters uncovers is that the really exotic thing about Toronto is that it's not exotic, despite all its communities, because generally, though not universally, they tend to feel at home here. In a world awash in hostility toward the other, its relative absence is kind of exotic. At any rate, that's Toronto. The scripts and plot could use work, but it has what any series needs, a main character you want to spend time with, and not just a setting, but a sensibility, which is that unique, yet almost undetectable, diverse Toronto thing. Yeah, I'm hungry. Are you hungry? It's India, you know how many people are hungry? Sit down. For the Toronto Star, I'm Rick Salutin.